I'm Mr. Edwards. I am chairing this meeting. Uh, this is Mr. Cannon Fodder, Mr. Stern Fate, the FMASIO. This is Mr. Stern for Hope, a psychologist. And uh, Mr. Stratbottom is from the Federal Police. Now, James, you don't mind if we call you James. We're trying to find out what happened and why in your, you and your cat were on this train. Well, I didn't want to leave her home. No one to look after. She doesn't like me on her own. Uh, it would appear she doesn't like being with people much either from what we hear. She just gets a little excited and frightened. Sometimes she's very sorry. Why didn't you put her in a cattery? Wouldn't that have been a lot easier? I put her in a cattery last year, but there was a little bit of trouble. And they banned me and, and her after, after it burned down. It was so unfair. What? Jesus. You bought that on a plane? Ah, I see. We're finally getting somewhere. You admit you and your cat are trained in Aspinone. You and her trained by ISIS. They're both members. Tell me now. It'll go a lot easier on you both. Oh, no, nothing like that. She just gets a little over crowd and worry. Please, she didn't mean it. Come on, James. Expect us to believe you're some kind of idiot with a psychopathic cat on a plane. What do you take us for? Tell the truth. We know you're both on a suicide mission to bring down a plane. Tell us the truth now. It'll go a lot easier. We'll get the truth out of you sooner or later. No, no, please. I don't know anything. It's just a cat. It gets a little stressed. Please, please. We didn't mean it. Don't want to go home. Now, James, I work for the Commonwealth Police. Miss Sternface and Mr. Cannon fodder were for ages. You know who they are? Please, please. Australian Counter for Intelligence. You better tell us everything you want to know now before it gets much worse. So, we're sorry. We really are. We don't want We don't know anything. Well, whatever. We're sorry. We really are. And we love you, Please, love you, Please, tell them. Tell them, please.